you're looking at the bright box too again this time a bit uh, closer up just have a look around it see what parts we can find there's the WPS button there part number 14195172004 J dot Romeo 01 there's an antenna there there's some pulse transformers these things here I think they're pulse transformers anyway there's the ADSL input with the suppression and protection Another, um, I think that's a uh, tele telecom transformer there a data type transformer some numbers for you There's that chip again. Some unknown quantity under that metal can. There's a heat sink. Some sort of composite material, this heat sink. It's some sort of formed or compressed conductive. Could be ceramic, actually. There's a NAND flash chip there. This one here. Electron Tech, I think that's RAM. Let me look at that closer. Tell you what, I might try and take this heat sink off actually. Or should I? No, it's glued on. I don't want to move it really. I'm hoping you can see that. incline it a bit more yeah that's the RAM I figured out what these uh, solder blobs are for I think they're solder bridges basically there's two options you either plug it into an antenna hence these things here or you route it to the strip line antennas, the strip line antennas here one there, one there one there and one there so I think those solder blobs are for routing you either leave them out you either there's, those blobs are either not there in which case it goes to the antenna or they're there and it gets routed to the internal antennas that's what I think, oh there's a fly down there, hello fly where are you going? No, nah, he's having fun. Anyway, so um, that's my guess anyway. Right, box two. There's the USB socket for NFS file sharing. Here. Yep. Sorry about my dirty desk, it needs a good clean or I could sand down. There's the uh, power switch, input jack for the mains, well, I would put mains in there, I'd put 12 volts in there at 1.5 amps if I were you. There's the reset button, WAN jack, giggy, 100 meg, 100 meg, 100 meg, ADSL. Let's check the other side. Now, in my last video, I said there's four indicator LEDs. There's not, there's five. One, two, three, four, five. Very, very bright multicolor LEDs. Not much interest in the back, just loads of surface mount stuff, as we saw before. Um, I wanted to actually show you closer up the tabs on the case because I didn't make it very clear in the last video how to get this thing open. So, there's your hooks, there's two there, now this is the left hand side, sorry the right hand side of the router, so this is the bot. this is the casing, this is the right hand side, there's one there, one there, and at the bottom there's one there and one there, in the middle of the screen, left hand side, one there, 
and one there and the top one there and one there and the corresponding tabs on the front front uh, casing oops wrong way up there we go the two tabs top camera's not focusing very well sorry okay left and right that's the top of the case you've got your indicator cutouts there you can see those you see the light coming through those that's for your LEDs got two tabs on the right two tabs on the left if I show you those already I apologise and you have the bottom ones so I just use one of these cards, credit cards, just to pop those open. As you can see, it's very easy. They're very thick, actually. Compared to the Brightbox One, they're very thick. The the top um, the top area of the tab used to break off on the Brightbox One. These are much thicker, so they don't break. Well, they would do. They would break if you if you were careless with them, but they're quite a lot tougher. Um, so yeah, got all this, got the mould markings from the factory, I think it's ABS, oh polycarbonate and ABS, there we go, polycarbonate and ABS. So, I'll put it back together on camera, very exciting, hey? I'll put it back together again. So here goes the, bo here's the board, right box 2. You just put that in here, like that. It's very simple, it just sits down in there. Okay, that's in. And now, you see the indicators at the front, the five indicators, which corresponds to these. Power, broadband, so it's a fingerprint magnet. Power, broadband, internet, wireless, intelligent wireless. Put that on top. Like that. And just push down, and all the tabs and the tabs and the hooks will re-engage. Right, do a squeeze around the sides. That's on. That side is that on? Yep, that's on too. It doesn't feel like a hundred and seventy-five pounds worth of kit, as they presume 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 to say that it is worth. Yeah, I don't think it is actually. I don't think this is worth £175. It might be worth £40 or £50, but £175? Pull the other one. Okay, so then you put the four screws back in, which I happen to have here. Ignore the silver ones, the black ones are the ones you want. Let me get them out. So, move these out of the way. They're bright box one the screws, these ones. They're bright box one the screws. So, the ones you want. Are these ones here? Four little black screws. So you then have two at the bottom, one each side, one there, one there, and two at the back at the top, one there, one there. Once you finish putting the bottom ones in, you have two little rubber feet, self adhesive rubber feet, which I'm going to peel it off now to show you. There's the adhesive side, which is very sticky, obviously. And then there's the rubber side for the uh, foot. So you stick those back on. And that's what you do. Thanks guys. Bye.